Hey folks, this is Mark from Autumn, and this page is not ChatGPT, but a private AI that I'm running locally on our system. Um, it's basically answering me some specific questions regarding our internal knowledge base. And the goal of that demo is to see together how you can also do that. Usually we tend to use some cloud-based or external AI system. And here the goal is really to own your system and to train it, feed it with your internal knowledge. So the um, demo I have provided is the, documented here in our GitHub repository. You will see the link in the comments. And I've been inspired by those two, um, those two articles that you will see also uh, as links in the comment. Let's quickly see what's the architecture behind. So basically, we take our knowledge base, in our case, it's an obsidian vault, and we feed it into a retrieval augmented model, um, a rack system, which basically takes your documents, so files, text, images, and transform them into a vector database just to make the generation and the language model more efficient. And once you have done that, you can, of course, use an LLM chatbot. So here the UI is made by um, Open Web UI connected to Olama. And um, the language model is Mistral AI. So here I'm using a 7B Mistral model to, to have this LLM interaction with the knowledge base. And of course, all of that is uh, powered by Portainer on uh, Docker. And you have, of course, the GitHub repository that you can see. Um, few things maybe um, to comment regarding these settings. There are some important stuff to configure, especially here for the retrieval. So the way you retrieve your documents is really important. So this rag part because um, those vector will be the base for your LLM system. So for instance, you need to configure the chunk size. Uh, you need to choose the right embedding model, the right uh, ranking model for your RAG system. And uh, once you have done that, of course, you can retrieve all your documents. Then for the LLM parts, uh, the language model chatbot, um, there are a few things to consider. Mainly, you need to choose a model that is um, that matches with your GPU hardware um, because it needs to be a model that your GPU can support. Basically, you don't need a very high advanced model to get a, a reliable results, but you need to make sure it matches with your GPU type. And a uh, final step, which is important, is to attach your model to your knowledge base. So the knowledge base here is that uh, Obsidian collection. And I choose here this Mistral 7B Q2K model for the LLM. I add here a system prompt just to tell him which way he needs to answer me. And uh, inside the advanced parameter, you can uh, also fine tune some stuff here, for instance, with a 0.1 temperature. I'm basically targeting some very specific answers. So to summarize, uh, what you can keep in mind here is that it's not so hard to have your private AI locally, and you can really get a very, um, a very advanced and more productivity from that setup because you really feed uh, that system with your own knowledge because usually for very specific let's say, um, domain knowledge, um, you need something that is uh, detailed, that is maybe um, more specific to your company. And with this setup, you can really do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and we see you next week for the next topic.